know. Yeah, I'm gonna film this because I'm wondering. It's like something's leaking on the exhaust and that's burning. Right. It's like um, something. Oh, you know what? It's oh, grease. It's a... Oh, so it's just it's residual. It's actual grease. It's residual. Or is well, it leaking? See, there's no band on it. So this is the inner end of this axle. Uh -huh. And there's no band on the rubber boot that holds the axle grease into its interconnection to the transmission. Oh, I see. So why isn't there? Don't we have them? Uh, yeah, we do. I just didn't do Let's it. Let's put them on. Look at you being all solving problems. Well, the exhaust is probably crazy hot right now. Oh, yeah. But, Human um, safety. <laughs> Mary, no, I, I, I was do... joking. I was joking. No, 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 no. <laughs> To, to all you folks who do not know the context yeah. of the conversation, that was, that yeah. was absolutely in jest. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I, I dig that uh, you're also saying, look, we're willing to take big risks to solve big problems. Um, yeah, so that's good. I believe that's just axle grease because as the axle is rotating, well, it's actually not right now, but as it, it shakes, axle grease right, drips yeah, yeah, onto yeah, the yeah. exhaust. Yeah. And once the exhaust gets up to temperature, it, uh, it steams. Could actually burn, so good thing. Because I mean, actually, there's nothing there would really be affected by even a little fire. But I don't want that near the engine, regardless. Yeah, it's not a good selling point. All right, stop that. 